we are in a mess. I mean, we got a pandemic. We got a war that a lot of people are calling World War III. But I am in one of the most beautiful places in Washington. This is Meridian Hill Park in the center of Washington, D.C. Behind me is the skyline of Northern Virginia. This way you can see the Washington Monument. Looking down, this is one of the most upscale, high-end residential areas in the District of Columbia. And going back this way, you can see the mall of, of the park. And this is a, a famous statue. Those of you who know about France and Paris, you've heard of St. Joan of Arc. There it is, Joan of Arc. But I want to talk to you today about the times in which we live. We have, I want to read from Mark 13, starting in verse 4, the words of Jesus. When shall these things be? What will the sign be that these will be fulfilled? And Jesus answered and said, Take heed lest any man deceive you. Many will come in my name. People come in the name of Jesus, but they're not of Jesus. Many will come in my name, saying, I'm of Christ. And listen, this is what I want to get to. And when you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be not troubled. Be not troubled. Be not troubled. For such things must needs be, but the end shall not. We're not going to get nuked today. We're not going to get nuked. Look, peace. Don't let your heart be troubled. Jesus said in John 14, he said, again, let not your heart be troubled. He said, in my Father's house are many mansions. And if it wasn't so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go, this is the greatest promise in the Bible. If I go, I will come again. You see these beautiful skies? Jesus is going to split these skies, hallelujah, in Israel. And every eye is going to see him. He's going to put his feet on the Mount of Olives. Everything that's going on in the headlines in the war and the rumors of war, nation rising against nation. Verse 8, kingdom against kingdom, famines, pestilences, troubles, earthquakes in diverse places. All these are saying one thing. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. So fear not. God did not give you a spirit of fear. Let not your heart be troubled. Don't have a heart attack. Don't panic. Don't worry. Don't stress. Don't be anxious. We're not going to get nuked. The Bible said in 1 Peter 5, 7, casting all, all your care on him because he cares for you. The Bible said in everything, don't be anxious, but pray. Pray. And the peace of God that passes all understanding shall guard your hearts and mind. Don't be troubled. Jesus has got it under control. Jesus is in control. I love you. Bye-bye.